Hey everyone, this is Justin from justicegood.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to give your photos a the weekend style of photo edit. So if you're not familiar with The Weeknd, he's a popular musician, and if you check out some of the photography and artwork that goes along with a lot of his music, it's usually dark and noisy and a lot of times black and white. This look is not too hard to get, it just takes a few simple filters and adjustment layers. So with our photo open, you're actually going to right click on your photos layer and convert it to a smart object. And all that means is that Photoshop will remember each filter you put on here and give you a little bit more adjustability if you need to. So we're going to go ahead and add our first filter here, which is a key look to this effect, and that's a vignette. So a vignette can be found under Filter, Lens Correction, and then it's going to open up its own menu here, and under Custom, you should see this Vignette tab. So I'm going to set the Darken slider to negative 75, and I'm going to set the Midpoint to about plus 25 because this effect or look usually has a pretty strong shadowed vignette. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK there. And the next step is to add some noise to the photo. So we're going to go ahead and go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. So here, um, you could probably play around with it to your liking, but a good, a good uh, starting point I found is uniform noise at about 10% monochromatic. So I'll go ahead and use that, and you can use that too if you want. So now you see we've, we've got our noise and our lens correction. So we're all set with that. Next, we're actually going to duplicate this layer. So I'm just going to use Command-J, or you could right-click and duplicate it. And I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and I'm going to use a Motion Blur. So I'm going to use a 90-degree angle at about eight to 900 pixels. And uh, go ahead and select OK. And then just to get rid of some of these sharp, noisy streaks, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'll set that to about 9 pixels. So the reason we did this is because we're going to set the opacity of this to about 15%, and all that does is kind of gives a little bit of a soft, hazy look. So it just softens things up a little bit. So now to finalize this effect, we're going to go ahead and go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Black and White, and you can just leave it as is if you'd like, or if you want, you can make certain hues darker, like you can turn the, the red tints down. If you want, you can even click on this little finger slider here, grab the area, and then click and hold and slide to the right and it'll lighten up those portions and then you can click and hold like the hair and it'll darken up those portions but that's a quick little tip so now that you have the black and white adjustment layer the last thing you want to do is just adjust the contrast a little bit and I like to do that with a levels adjustment layer so head over to layer new adjustment layer levels and then all you're going to do is take the leftmost slider for the shadows and squeeze it in a little bit. And then I like to take the output level here and drag it up a little bit. And all that does is kind of apply a tiny bit of a matte finish. It just tells Photoshop that instead of being able to use 100% black to white color range, it now must only use this really dark gray to white so some of the blacks get lifted a little bit and the shadows get a little bit softer but that's your final effect so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you leave me a thumbs up or give me a comment on what you thought and of course definitely subscribe and check out my channel for more photoshop tutorials so once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time